In this video, we're going to cover the surface area of prisms and a couple of problems that relate to surface area of prisms. In the first question, number nine, we're asked to find the lateral area and the total area of a right prism, as shown below in the diagram. Well, the lateral area is pretty easy to do. We've got four squares here, one, two in front, and then two in the back. Not squares, but rectangles. The first one is going to be 11 by 13. We have to multiply that by two. And the second is going to be 11 by 15, and again, we have to multiply that by 2 to get our total lateral area. So I have 2 times 11 times 13. That equals 286. Those are for the front rectangles. And I have 2 by 11 by 15. Those are for the back rectangles. Those equal 330 squared units. So my area for the lateral area is going to be 616 units squared. Now the difficult problem not, is not in finding the lateral area, but finding the bases of this right prism. And we have two of them, remember. And they're both uh, the same. They're both congruent or equal shape and area. And so the way that we're going to find that is let's flip the prism over so we're looking at it from the top or the bottom. And it looks something like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to define this base value uh, as x. So I have x here and x here. I know this length is 4, and then I'm going to define this value as y. So I can come up with two equations. The first one is x squared plus y squared is equal to 13 squared. And the second is x squared plus y plus 4 squared is equal to 15 squared. And then I'll solve for y and uh, then find the area from there. So we take the first equation, x squared plus y squared is equal to 13 squared. And we solve it in terms of x squared. So x squared now is equal to 169, or 13 squared, minus y squared. In the second equation, we have x squared plus y plus 4 squared is equal to 15 squared. So let's just revisit that again. First one is x squared plus y squared equals 13 squared, which we've uh, changed to solve in terms of x squared. And the second one is x squared plus y plus 4 squared is equal to 15 squared. So now that we have the two equations, we're going to substitute our value for x squared that we have from the first equation in for x squared. Now we have 169 minus y squared plus y plus 4 squared is equal to 225. Or 169 minus y squared plus y squared plus 8y plus 16 is equal to 225 which reduces to 8y is equal to 40, y is equal to 5, and then we can find out that x is equal to 12. So now if we know that y is equal to 5, and x is equal to 12, then we can solve for this problem by finding the area of, let's say, ABC, the total triangle, and then subtracting ADC, the lighter or the yellow or non-colored area, to find the area of the green. So here we have the total area of ABC minus the area of ADC is equal to the shaded area. So let's review that again. The total area of the entire triangle minus this lower triangle ADC is equal to the shaded region. So here I have the area of ABC, the larger triangle, is one half Remember we said x was 12, so the base is 24, times the height of 5, which was y, plus 4 is 9, and that equals 108. We're going to subtract the area of ADC, which is 1 half, again the same base, x is 12, but in this case y is now just 5, not 5 plus 4, and that equals 60. So 12 times 5, 60. So if I subtract the two uh, areas, I come up with 48. Now remember there are two bases, there are two uh, areas with the, uh, that have uh, 48 units squared. So now I need to add to my lateral area, which I figured out seems like a while ago. I need to add two bases, or 2 times 48. So my answer will be six, 712. In the final question, number 10, we're asked to find the lateral area of a pentagonal right prism whose perimeter is 17 and the lateral edge is 10. Well, this is pretty simple to solve. We're just finding the lateral area not the total area. So the lateral area in this case is just 
the perimeter times the height, and the height happens to be the lateral edge. So we end up with the perimeter, which is 17 times 10. So my answer is going to be 170 units squared.